Thank you, Lily. All you need to know about Lily James is that the last time I saw her, I tried to strangle her, then I tried to burn her house down over and over and over again. And still, Daphne comes to give Mrs. Danvers an award. <laughs> the closest I ever got to meeting Richard Harris was when my agent, Sally Longinis, and I looked at a script in the 1990s. It was a completely idiotic idea, some tosh about togas where Richard was playing Marcus Aurelius and I play his evil daughter. It was a, such a useless idea that when I said no, they divided the role between two people, a beautiful daughter and an evil son. <laughs> Gladiator. Yes, dear Jared and Damien and the Harris family, you have given me an award which will always remind me of my most idiotic career decision. <laughs> but it's an incredible honor for three reasons. First, because of Richard Harris. I sat and watched this sporting life again this weekend. Richard Harris was extraordinary. In this film, he's trapped by his beauty and anger, and lonely and wound up with violence, he gets up onto the stage to sing a song of longing, his arms tight around his chest as if keeping his heart from jumping out. And to receive an award in his name is really wonderful for me. Secondly, it's a huge honor to follow in the steps of Judy Dench, Julie Waters, John Hurt, and Jim Broadbent, to just to name the previous winners who begin with J. Above all, though, it is an honor to get this from the British independent film industry. Independent film has been my lifeblood. That's obviously a matter of principle and of choice. Some would say the studio is bloody choice. Did I not die convincingly enough in Mission Impossible 1? <laughs> I, but I've always felt more at home in independent films in any language. I love the urgency. We shot the party in 13 days. I love the improvisation. When the unions shut us down on Sarah's Key and the entire sound part department just vanished, I recorded the dialogue on my phone. But most of all, I love the scripts and the invention. So thank you all, British independent filmmakers, and thank you, Sally. I hope we'll continue to lurch on from decision to decision for a lot longer. To have an agent who says, don't do this, it won't be good for your life is to have an, a friend for life. And thank you to Laurent Grégoire in Paris, who unearthed I loved you so long, and Chris Andrews in Los Angeles, who got me onto the English patient, even then he wasn't even my agent. And thank you, Emma and Laura and Donna, and thank you to all the people who've lit me, recorded me, dressed me, filmed me, carried heavy objects for me, stood in for me, galloped for me, and built these characters with me, piece by piece. These films may be independent films, but my part in them is definitely not done independently. I'm just a much oiled and polished cog in a marvelous machine, and I love it. Thank you. <laughs>